The Assyrians are an ancient race of people originating from the region between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, also known by the Greek name Mesopotamia. They are the original and indigenous people of the land framed by the Persian Gulf, the Van Sea, the Urmia Sea, Syria and Iran. The Assyrian Empire reigned until 612 BC. Thereafter, the Assyrians continued to inhabit their indigenous homelands. During various stages of history, the Assyrian population underwent sovereignty changes and consequent assimilation processes of religion, language, and culture. However, the dominance of the Turkish Ottomans from the 15th century to the first part of the 20th century completely reshaped the destiny of the Assyrian people. And those few millions who had withstood the melting process of the millennia and had remained homogenous in their ancestral homeland became the victims of one of the worst Assyrian genocides in the early part of the 20th century. Cradle of civilization, the ancient Assyrian civilization, is the first recognized and documented civilization and is responsible for the development of almost every initial component of the modern civilization. They were pioneers in the fields of politics, state administration, economics and trade, cultural and artistic expression, agriculture and animal husbandry, military development, medicine, science, astronomy, mathematics, architecture, and law as demonstrated by the first written code of law, the Code of Hammurabi. The Assyrians were also among the first people to convert to Christianity, tracing their Christian origin to Christ, to contribute to the building of early churches, and to go on Christian missions to China, Japan, Indonesia, and India. Today, all Assyrians are Christians of various denominations, predominantly Orthodox, and Catholic. Their relentless adherence to the Christian faith has placed the Assyrians in a situation of constant attack, barbarism and attempted annihilation by the Islamic forces which now occupy their traditional homes. The Assyrian Christians have endured centuries of massacres and atrocities in defense of their cultural identity and their Christian faith. The last phase of the Ottoman Empire in 1842 AD saw a massive attack on Assyrians in the mountains of Hakkari and the death of tens of thousands of Christian Assyrians. 1895 to 1896 Witness the Assyrian massacres in Diyarbakir, Hasankiev, and Sivas in Anatolia by Sultan Abdul Hamid II. This attack alone caused the death of over 55,000 Assyrians and the forced Osmanization of a further 100,000 Assyrians, the inhabitants of 245 villages. 
In addition to this, a further 100,000 Assyrian women and children were forced into the Turkish harems. The Turkish troops looted the remains of the Assyrian settlements, taking old gold, silver and other possessions. The Assyrians were raped, tortured and murdered. Then in the year 1911, the Young Turk Committee for Unity and Progress declared its goal to Osmanize all Turkish subjects. This pan-Turkism became known as the dark period of ethnic and religious cleansing of the Assyrian, Armenian and Greek Christians in the Turkish Republic. A systematic extermination of the Assyrian people which continues to this day has caused the population of Assyrians in that region, previously numbering millions, to diminish to a mere few thousand. These few Assyrians today fight to remain free Christians in their traditional homeland. The events of 1915 became known as the Year of the Sword in Assyrian history. One such massacre on 5 June 1915 saw the death of tens of thousands of Assyrian Christians in the region between Hasankiev and Turabdin. Eyewitness accounts tell of the bludgeoning of little children with stones, the dismembered bodies of women and girls who refused to be raped, the beheading of men and those who would not convert to Islam, and the burning and skinning alive of priests, nuns and deacons. Those who survived this barbarism were left to brave famine, thirst, disease and a hostile environment. A report from Deacon Asmar from the village of Ainvardo, now known by its Turkish name Gulgus in Turabdin, reveals that some 12,000 Turkish soldiers accompanied by Turkish civilian women and children descended on the Assyrian village. It was the task of the Turkish civilians to loot the village while the soldiers killed its inhabitants. The attack on the village resulted in a battle lasting two months and six days as the Assyrian villagers fought back in defense. This Koshabo speaks about this incident. <laughs> They attacked Midyalt. We gathered on the roof of the house of Isa the Begori. We heard that some escaped to Enwardu. After three days of fighting, they took Midyalt and we went to the roof of Bet Adoka. Blood was pouring from the roof gutters of every house. Jalila Musa Gorgas tells of the village of Sirt and of the deportation of Assyrians from their villages. She tells of being rounded up like cattle by Turkish soldiers and being made to march for days in the harsh climate with little food and water. The villagers, consisting mainly of women, children and the elderly, were subjected to beatings, rapes and constant abuse. Both Jalila and her eight-year-old daughter were among the many women raped by the Turkish soldiers. According to Jalila, those who became too weak to march were killed along the way by the Turkish soldiers. The deported villagers also suffered numerous raids and attacks by the provoked Kurdish bandits in search of valuables and clothing. The Muslims would descend upon the already weakened group, attacking them with stones and daggers and tearing off their clothing. Jalila remembers, I wanted to escape as I saw a naked woman who had a dagger thrust in her stomach. She was trying to push back her outhanging bowels. She wanted to escape from the monster too. <laughs> 